Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You know, in our current COVID situation that we're at, um, athletics and road races are not that easy to find. Uh, they're few and far between. And if they are held, they're either a virtual or they only have limited amount of uh, runners allowed to participate. And then they only give you a short period of time and you also find that these races are sky high, they're very ex expensive to take part in. And uh, yeah, it, it, it makes it quite difficult for um, normal road runners to get an entry. So that being said, just to keep motivated and fit, I've turned to Strava. Now every runner should know what Strava is. But if you're not sure, it's just the app that you can download either on your PC or your mobile phone just to track your own running. And uh, it's quite amazing. It's got so many features to it. it sh it'll show you your, your distance that you've run. It shows you your pace that you've run at. It plots out the route that you've run on. And uh, it shows your elevation. You know, there's so many features to this app. It's just amazing. But make sure that um, after your runs, you choose the right activity. So for instance, if you're running, choose run, or if you're cycling, choose cycle, and so on and so on, because each activity falls into its own category. But it's really easy to do. You can either upload your GPS watch after your run onto the app, or you can use your mobile phone as a, your cell phone as a GPS. Just turn on the location, go to the app and uh, link the re record button at the bottom. And then as soon as you're ready to go, you press the um, start button and you run. Do your run, it'll track you all the way along. And then as soon as you're done, stop it and it will automatically be um, uploaded to the app. It's really nice because after you run, people can give you kudos, they can give you comments, and uh, you'll be able to see a lot of information about your run that you've just done on that app. So the whole reason for me telling you this is because after each run you can go back on the on the app view your uh, activity and see if you've run through any segments now strava segments is a stretch of road that's been uh, given a name and uh, you can find them basically everywhere on roads and on trails and then you can uh, you can go and have a look on that segment to see how do you compare to other runners that have run that same stretch of road or trail and uh, you know you can see who's the top 10 where do you rank and uh, what's the fastest time on that specific segment so because of uh, that I've turned to Strava for racing just to get that competitive feel going and uh, you know because we we don't currently have that uh, with the lack of races and so on. Strava segments are awesome for that. It's just motivating, especially when you're running along on your favorite route and you suddenly realize, ah, this is a segment. <laughs> this is a Strava segment. You know, you, you, you tend to run a bit faster on that stretch of road and, uh, it's so awesome to go back and look at your previous runs and see if you've improved or not.
So I can really urge you to get the app, track your performance, chase the leaderboards, and try and get onto the top 10. If you don't, it's not a problem. You can just try again tomorrow. It's really great to track your performance and see if you've improved. So apart from that, it's a great social platform for runners just to stay in touch, give comments, share photos, um, or either reconnect with others while enjoying sports, staying fit and having fun. So I really hope to see you on Strava. Maybe I can give you a CUDA. So really thanks for watching this video everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope to see you on the next one. Feel free to subscribe, leave a comment and stay safe. Live your life to the fullest. Have fun and enjoy every moment.